Hello, you beautiful people. In this video, we're talking about instrument anatomy. And at the very top of our instrument, we've got the headstock. The headstock holds the tuning machines, and the tuning machines are usually made of a gear and a knob and a spindle. So if your strings are out of tune, you're gonna refer to the tuning machines to adjust the tension of your strings. As you go further down the instrument, you'll get to the neck, the part you're holding your off hand. And on top of the neck, this other piece of wood here is called a fretboard. Now the fretboard houses the little metal bars we call frets. And it can sometimes extend down further down over the body of the instrument to increase the range. And uh, at the very top of it, we've got a piece called the nut. The nut just holds the strings in the right place. Now it looks like a larger fret on this instrument because it's made out of a larger piece of fret wire, but it could be made out of bone or plastic or wood on other instruments. Between some of the frets, you've got these little abalone circles, these dots, they're inlaid into the fretboard. We just call them inlay. Um, they don't really serve a purpose other than adding some beauty and kind of giving you a reference point as you're playing along. You can kind of keep an eye on where those abalone dots are to remember which frets you're between. Lastly, we've got the body. The body is the hollow chamber here at the end of the instrument. Now what's happening when you pluck it is the vibration is length and sound is getting determined by where your finger is on the fretboard. That vibration goes into the bridge here, which is this piece of wood holding it off the, um, the strings off the, the face of the instrument, but it's also carrying that vibration down into the body. Now that uh, vibration is going to echo and then come out of the sound hole, which is that hole on the top there. This sound hole has a little extra wood in the middle of it to reinforce it. This is our sound hole insert. So we've got our sound hole and sound hole insert in our bridge. And then lastly, at the bottom here, we've got where the strings will head into the instrument. We just call these string holes and they are kept from pulling on the top piece of wood by these little ringlets called ferrules, and it's made out of brass. So when you're changing a string, keep track of those ferrules because they're not attached by anything. They're just held down by tension. If you flip your instrument around, you'll see where the strings go through the back and they're held in place by the little balls on the end of the strings. These strings are called ball-in strings. They're really common for guitars. And uh, they're called ball-in strings just because they have those little balls. So that co about covers it for our instrument anatomy. Now your head's filled with knowledge and you uh, will be ready to go on and learn the basics. So go out and play some music.